I am Keek Smick and I'm reading from my chat book Read With Your Heart um, and this is a poem called Outland Visitors. Scotland is weel kent to be guy bonny, foo a braes, glens and lochs steeped in history, where practically fawn o'er castles, cucks and standing stains, preserved or malafusta, does nae matter. Folk travel for all air the yard to visit, maybe zeen further. See, Scotland seems to be the number one travel destination for intergalactic explorers. The wee central to Nabonny Bridge has over 300 UFO glisks every year. It's a nice wee place, but I'm not sure what makes it so popular with our interplanetary neighbours. Maybe there's a right good chippy. The parts between there, Falkirk and Stirling, are called the Falkirk Triangle due to the amount of activity reported. Local folk speak at an alien meeting place they call the camp in an abandoned mine near Gorebridge, where passers by have been chased by a floating emerald E, and fern stalking days are missing. Bang goes the chippy explanation. In 1979, a man who had been treating a decrement wood scruffled him to his wife in tatters claiming he saw Moni spacecraft afore getting scalped by some outro beastie. What a yarn, eh? But when the police turned up, they found marks in the wood, matching how the man had described the craft's landing. And in 1992, twa punters were regressed by a hypnotist to explain twa hours lost to their minds when driving on the A70 near Tarbrax. Was the landscape of Scotland say breathtaking it took their memory too? It turned out, the base spoke of being abducted and tested on by creatures for yon air carries. I wonder what they're looking for. It's definitely no the sunshine. This is a poem called Growing Up. What in the name of the wee man are you meant to do when you come face to face with your bairn heed banster when you're growed? A Dorsey folk would propone that you nod, smooth, or e'en past the time of day, since time has passed, and you can kiss that you're the mere muckle person. Depends, but, on just how muckle you are, or how mittlin' the bangstrew is. I'm no that bousy, to gee either only couthiness, or did the volley to the coupon Van Damme style that my inner 12-year-old would love to give. Say a resort in that split second to stand tall, Gain the book a steely look of defiance, last used for a particular tangerine commander-in-chief. Well, it sure showed him, didn't it? This is a poem called The Secret. There's nocht mere bittersweet than a body making you feel twenty stories high. That you can take on the yard and win, that you can dazzle with a blink, and that you're worth a trove of sparkling bars. That wicht can transform your life for good, for ill, for ever. You willingly haunt your power and your heart air to that biased soul. No, this isn't love. No, it's infatuation. The sacred but most hard thing is to find a way to make yourself feel 20 stories high. You have the cannon to tackle in the yurt and he worth or all the riches you can mean. After all, the feelings all calm for yourself. How no keep your power and love you first? Make your own dreams come true. Hey respect for number one. Love the best version of you for you.